Hello everybody, Shift here again, and today I'll be playing Lucky Mayor. Now the game is a roguelike, I would say, engine building game. It really reminds you of Lucky Landlord as to what the purpose is and how the game plays, but the actual gameplay in itself is an engine building game. I'm gonna explain here. There are a lot of synergies and whatnot. I, I really enjoy. They have things like Terminator and Lord of the Rings, and I don't know, man. I've been playing this game for about... Uh, I would say 5 to 10 hours about a month ago and I wanted to show this on the channel but then Rogue, um, what is it called, Tiny Rogues came along and you know what, it fell on the side. But now I happen to see Alexa play this and I was like, wait a minute, I wanted to play this on the channel, I remembered and here we are, just like that. So, uh, I'm gonna play on difficulty 5 just so that I can explain more stuff. The difficulties only make it so that you have to gain more money, therefore min-max more. So, I'm just gonna play here so we can play whatever build happens to come along instead of trying to force something insane or busted. Classic case of difficulty and I also want to talk about the game in itself. So, let's go into this. As I said, there are a bunch of synergies that have to do with what you produce and here we begin the 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 game just begun you actually hide and let me explain what happened so these are my units which we can see over here these are the five units i have every time uh, a the turn passes you can get another unit for free very lucky landlord like up here at the top you can see how much money we need to get 25 coins up to the end of the day over here uh, this is the money we have, very, very basic stuff. And now we're gonna talk about the different things. First of all, I also want to still add to the to, to the basic stuff that we have rerolls. The flames are rerolls. The stones are rare rerolls. So for legendary choices, you use stones to reroll those. And the X's are delete units out of your deck. And now we're gonna talk about the unique stuff. So, what we do in this game is we these units here, for example, she produce things, produce random one between uh, what is this, uh, what is it called, tomato, fish, or egg. Or this guy, for example, produces makes uh, a tomato. That's it. So units produce with this guy too, ten percent chance to produce a emerald, I guess, instead of a stone, and otherwise he produces stones. This guy has an eight percent chance to produce a chest, otherwise he produces a fish. And the wolf removes all chicken and whatever this thing is in a group and gains eight coins for each yeah we don't care about the wolf the wolf is gonna most likely get thrown out of the deck when the time comes to but doesn't matter um so these guys produce stuff and they put them in the middle and then you need to get things characters for example from level ups that actually consume stuff for example snow white yes produces these things but consumes these things she consumes pastas and i guess pastries i don't know what this is uh, cake cakes uh, or here removes itself after six time purchasing this guy what does he do he only purchases fish and swords and after a six time purchasing he's gone so the idea is some units produce stuff and don't give you money pretty much because they just produce or sometimes they give you money per turn for example some characters just straight up give you money and some other characters and the main way you'd make money is by having characters that eat those things right because these things have value as you see here stones have value of two emeralds have value of ten uh, tomato has a value of two so I need somebody to eat the tomato but for now i'm gonna go with snow white let's actually do a, a very 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 basic build here which is the food build so let's go with this snow white and i'm most likely gonna invest into food you're gonna understand when the time comes throw things in the middle here and now i really hope to find a cook because cook is what the build i already i went into is going to be she produces fish and we're going into the fish into this triplet let me explain after a while we have here a cow that makes milk I didn't even read the previous one. A little ghost that just eats candies. We don't produce candy, so that's irrelevant to us. And a hero that removes one of these ones. For example, this guy. One of these units. Werewolf is something it would remove. In a group and gain 10 coins. After 10 purchases, convert into a demon hunter. And he likes books. So I don't produce books. So he's going to stay as a hero forever. I could get the hero just to kill the um, werewolf away. No, I don't have a werewolf. We don't have a werewolf, right? What, what is this? This is just a wolf. Yeah, we just have a wolf. Forget that. Let's re-roll these. Let's re-roll. I found the chicken. I have 35% chance to... Um, wait, have I percent round on one... What? I have 35% chance to round one egg into a chicken every three rounds. Yeah, okay. So this thing produces eggs. And if it... Uh, yeah, once every three rounds tries to create another chicken. So this is like a chicken build, which we could do. I don't think we're gonna do that. I also don't care about her. She produces the other things for food. You're gonna see when I get the cook. Let's roll here. I didn't find a cook. That's pretty bad. But we found a princess sleeping. Uh, once again, we got an orange man here producing oranges. I mainly want to produce these three, these three ingredients. A fish guy and then princess sleeping. Princess sleeping says that she eats things, but she also eats 
the emeralds gives 20 extra in the remover after purchasing three emeralds and if you remember this guy has a five percent ten percent chance to produce an emerald so might as well buy somebody that eats those emeralds up and then also removes itself off the deck when she eats those emeralds Nice. I'm explaining a bit too much here, but slowly we're gonna stop doing that. And here we found the guy that is the crux of my build, the cook. So produces pasta with a price equivalent to the total money gained in this round. Money gained, I'm gonna assume, is that he buys these. I mean, I, as far as I understand, that's how this works. He buys these three things. He's gonna buy eggs, uh, tomatoes, and fish which we produce all of them this guy produces fish uh this guy produces tomatoes and then both of my snow whites produce all of these three so this is exactly the combo you want to get getting and uh he produces a pasta which then the pasta feeds back into the snow white so we're gonna get here this and now the run is a go because now we're gonna start seeing the cook uh, eat these things up you see he just gave six coins and i think he threw threw a pasta in which this pasta theoretically should have a value of six coins so when one of these snow whites is gonna eat it next turn we're gonna get six coins that's how that works another dwarf another fisherman for fish i don't think i want any of these and then we got a demon king a bull demon king who eats both of these which is good because he's gonna just straight up eat both of them but i want to go full-on cooking mode i don't really want to have anything eat away from the cook so we're gonna skip here and that's also why i want to go into an easier difficulty so i can more easily just play around you see she just gave us six coins because the food was actually worth six and we survived the round, 25 coins, very nice. We also got an re roll. Hello, you need to pay maintenance, 78 in the next days. And what are the choices now? Produce one sword every stone purchase after 20 productions converts into Gimni. Gimni over there at the right side, I just want to showcase this right now, is from the Lord of the Rings pack, right? Because there are things in this game, like, you know, there is a Lord of the Rings build, there is a Genie Aladdin build, there is a Star Wars, no, Star Wars I think is not a thing. Uh, Terminator build is definitely a thing. There are things in this game that are definitely references. But uses one sword to... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, doesn't matter what they do otherwise. We're not gonna play this. We're not gonna play stones into swords. Although I could, because I do have stones here. Although most likely I'm gonna just throw out the stone guy. I want to go full on food mode. Uh, produces one... A book for every milk purchase or gain 20 extra and remove herself after three purchasing of emeralds. I'm gonna buy her too so we can have like some kind of stock of characters going on and I just hope that my this guy is gonna produce at some point the green stones to get some money out of it. We found another pastry chef that's very 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 important because we no 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 that's not important we're not a pastry we are a cook we want cooks we don't want pastries. This is the same build as we I'm trying to create, but the other half. Like, this goes with oranges and milk. We are playing with fish and tomatoes. Purchase... Uh, what does this guy? Produces one potion for every stone purchased. I could take this. Should have gone with Gimli in the same time. Uh, after 10 rounds, remove itself and six times the price of one production on the shelf. Oh, I'm gonna take this. So, in 10 rounds, this guy is gonna delete himself and then six tuple one item. So, it's a very, very, very slow increase in money right now it does nothing i'm still making my coins i think we're gonna barely survive here uh we found our snow white snow white is exactly the build we're doing the other choices are princess belta gives extra co five coins for each of these in the group the group is this little i think here as you see they are in four different groups the reason why this is a thing is for synergistic purposes because otherwise for example princess belta would be insane or it would be gives plus one coin for each thing but because the game has grouping um that's how this works so she needs to happen to roll this is where the slot mechanic comes in right she happens to roll into uh one of these four groupings with another pet that's how the slot mechanics work in that game now there are things that group things together there are abilities and units that say that two groups are the same group or all four are the same group and then you can get some crazy combos that's a completely different build let's go into snow white as that's part of the build we're gonna continue here i definitely need more cooks otherwise we're gonna have issues but it is what it is. The cook is creating one sixer every turn. And also we don't have room on the board itself as things are flying off. So here we got a gangster thug. This is also a completely different build. Get two extra when purchased. Gets extra two coins when purchased. And no... So when he purchases either booze or guns, I guess, he gets two extra. And no money deduction if Cop or Sherlock or Watson is in the build. Because that is a thing in this game. Sherlock Watson build. Uh, and he has a downside of minus six coins. So if you could, if I get this right now, I lose the game on the spot. I'm gonna get another soul here, I guess. Let's continue on. I'm barely surviving, I think. 
If I get 10 to 15 coins per turn, I th oh yeah, 12. Previous turn, we got 12. I think we're going to get another 15 this round. Nice. So we're going to survive here, guaranteed, as I'm going to get another 15 next turn. But we're closing into dying. Convert one product into a chest. 10% chance to killing a dragon in group and gains 200% levels. He generates chests. That's useless. Increase the production of tomato man, which I have. That's it. Only tomato man is what I have. And he likes eggs. That's a guy that just eats eggs. You know what? I need to th find things that consume stuff. I'm not going to get the farmer, though. That's irrelevant to us. Let's roll him. Hero, once again, pretty irrelevant. A drummer. That is also a build. Maybe I can rotate into a music build. Although I already have three Snow Whites, so I'm super into the cooking build. Every 20 purchases, gain one extra per round. E purchases, once again, it means that this guy buys things. That's what purchases means. Uh, gain two extra for each one of the whole team, which is like a bassist, a drummer, a rock star, a dancer. Like, this is a whole build, once again. Wizard produces an extra book. After 20 rounds, an extra two after 40 rounds. So this is for a book build. And then gives extra two coins for every one uh, for every one of these we have fishermen we have miners uh, as far as i know we also yeah we have a pastry chef no we have a chef i think this fits in group and purchasing or producing and this guy just or producing this is really good for us so every time one of my units either purchases or produces this guy uh gives us two coins and he eats fish let's go with this let's go with the dog it, it fits we have so many fish on the board right now the dog fits it's also gonna eat some fish it's gonna give us more money you hear this uh, wolf, the barking? Whenever the barking happens, it's the effect of that guy. Okay, one of, I think both of these went away. Let's go pay 78 and let's understand. Now I need to get 270. So now we start, we need to become better. Increase the production of these. No, teacher is also a no. I don't really have milk. And triples the money gained by wizard boy student in the group. That's a no. Also, once again, a completely different build than us. Everyone in the group increases purchase quantity by one. This is a guaranteed yes because it really helps specifically with the cook so that he can buy more, right? So he can have more purchase power and therefore generate better food. I'm sorry, I'm having hiccups. If the, my sound uh, sound, my, my sound does not... Whatever, I'm having hiccups. You see, this guy just got 12 coins. So is his pasta now worth 12? Wait a minute, wait a minute. The dog made this guy... I, I saw, if you go back in the video for five seconds, you're going to see this guy had 12 coins above his head. We're going to look up if this pasta goes for 12 away. Um, and this guy, by the way, says group, so it only counts for his specific area. Sun Wukong, because that's also a build. The the build that says... <laughs> it doesn't say, it's just the... What is the road of... I don't remember what it's called. You, you know, you can comment down below and know from where this guy is from. It's a story. But he removes Demon Kings and removes souls, which I have a soul right now. Nope, this, my souls are gone, they're no longer in the build. And gain 50 coins. And he also likes rings... Because that's a thing. Rings have to do with either this guy or the Aladdin part or the... Um, what else is there for rings? Obviously, the Lord of the Ring also eats rings. So there are a lot of synergies between a lot of things going on. Cowboy, 1% chance to summon a sun. Sun gives extra 5 coins when blah, blah, blah gains coins. Ah, no. Increase summon probability. No, no, we don't want that. Chickens, we also don't want chickens. Although we do care about eggs, I don't want to fill my board with chickens. This is a dangerous maneuver. Don't go chickens if you don't need to. Roll them. Oh, Princess just just Miller. You see, here we go with Aladdin part. Produces extra rings. We could do a ring build, for example. A double money gain from Sun. Yeah, we're gonna just straight up say no to all of these. Although the ring build would be cool, but I'm gonna stick to what I want here with the food build. Uh, there are synergies for food. It just happens that I didn't get any up to this point. And right now the board is not really that good because we're pushing things off, but it's okay. Pirate Man produces. Well, yeah, no. Remove one product from the shelf randomly. If succeed, purchase. A stone. And price will be doubled. A sword. Produce a sword. So there's a sword build. And cactus. We're gonna buy the cactus. Once again, that's what fits the most for us. We need the cacti to be on the exact same board. Oh, I didn't see for the food thing I previously wanted to say. Yeah, I didn't check. Maybe somebody checked. I didn't see if the food actually went for 12. I'm at 105 coins. We're good. Sweet gangster. Once again, I'm not gonna even buy that. This is not the build. I'm not gonna read every single thing. The moment it looks like it doesn't fit like this guy, we're not gonna read through it. You can read through it if you want to understand what's going on. I'm gonna start expediting the process slowly. Five extra coins for each pet. I mean, we do have a bear and we also have a wolf, but I don't want to make my deck into... I, I don't want to muddy my deck. I want to keep the deck as clean as possible because the best case scenario, obviously, is you have exactly 20 units. So 20 out of 20, all the slots are what you have on the board. Everyone in the group increased purchase quantity by three. Insane. 3% chance to convert one of all of these into a vampire. This is a completely different build too. This is Fisherman, Miner, 
uh, candy maker, right? We have cooks. So if I take this, for example, my build is going to transform into a vampire build, right? Because most of these are the units we have. And then you just become a completely different build out of this, out of the blue and go into vampire build and try to get potions and whatnot. Tomato, we're going to go here. This is also a three star. So uh, we want that guy to appear with a cook. Uh, this uh, We have only one cook. That is a very big issue right now. Okay, we just got a 12th coiner here. So let's definitely keep that in mind. And here we got an item, because that's a thing in this game. You also get items. A dragon cannot be killed, but can obtain money. Dragon is a, a different build, I guess. Dragon is, by the way, the Lord of the Rings build. So no, no, it's... No, 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 that's a different build. Lord of the Rings build is a different build than the dragon build. The dragon build is like an RPG build. There are like mages and archers and... Uh, I don't know, thieves and knights. There are a bunch of things. Gain three, discard one of your units. I like this. Uh, coins, base price plus two and produce a... Not, this is not coin. Chest is two more expensive. This is for a chest build. This is for a dragon build. This is for a chest build. We're going to go with remove three units. Grim Reaper. Remove one character randomly and gain 15 times the money gained by that character in this round. Very gambly, especially if it hits the cook, we lose the run on the spot. We found a fan and we found another fisherman. Honestly, I don't want any of these. I don't want any of these. We're okay with what we have. Uh, is the... Where's my cook? Here's my cook. The cook is in the perfect spot. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Bye, bye, everything. Bye, 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 everything. 22 coins cook. So is this a 22 coiner? We're gonna see in a moment. We don't care about the cars. We don't care about the vampire. We don't care about the princess. Let's skip around pepperoni. And let's see if this is a 22 purchase. I'm waiting for it. It's gonna get purchased down here. 22 purchase nice so it's pretty much double dipping okay so the cook is double dipping he gets 22 coins and then he puts out the thing that also has value of 22 coins and then they eat that and that's another one increase the production of captain jack because there is a jack sparrow build too in this game how awesome is that man uh jasmine dwarf princess ella snow white we have a snow white and princess elise I think I should take this because produce the, increase the production of Snow White by four. By four. Four is a lot. How many princesses do we have? I think we already have enough though. Although this really, really fits. Remove everyone in the group and gain 15 times the money gain. This is a maybe loser run on the spot. Let's go with the monkey. Let's go on. I think the monkey fits. I would say I want to throw away the, the guy that puts stones on the board because I'm not using the stones whatsoever. The only reason why I'm keeping that guy is because I have two of those... Do I have two of one? Yeah, I have two of those princes sleeping, which I'm waiting for them to get removed from eating emeralds. That's why I'm doing that. I don't want any of these, honestly, so let's skip Peroni. As, as you see, we're still alive. And there is no rush, really, to get everything done. There is no rush to getting units. You want to get your 20 units, so skipping is good. 15 coins there. Nice. Tomato, a little ghost for coins. Increase the production of... Battery robot, gun robot, and robot bartender. By the way, if you read the robot, that is the... Um, what is it called? The Terminator build. Because if you see over there, it says that it purchases whatever, and then it has a 5% chance to summon a killer robot from Terminator. And then there is, like, a completely different build that has to do with killing the killer robots and making money out of that, and it's it's awesome, man. Let's continue skipping. I, I mean, I, do, I don't really need Tomato Man, either. The main thing I want is more Snow Whites, because they produce one of the three main resources we care about. So, let's go on. By the way, there are upgrades on this. It's not like the build is just Snow Whites and Cooks. You, we will find stuff. Purchasing. Here we go. 14 coins. Yeah, these guys put things out. Ah, Bella did actually... This Snow White produced four things because she was with the um, monkey. Okay, now we need 448. And here we get a legendary unit. This is a very classic reroll moment in case we need to. So, let's see what the choices are. Get one level... No, no. Get one coin per level. Get one... Yeah, based on... This is a level character. That's why I'm reading this completely. So this this guy gets levels. So he gives you a coin based on how many levels you are. Purchase one product randomly and have a 25% chance to increase the level by one. So an early king is good in general because this is just gonna... At some point, it's gonna be like 10 coins every turn, 11 coins every turn, 12 coins every turn. And because he purchases something at random, he might purchase a chest. He might purchase a stone. He might purchase things that are an issue for us. Four times the coins gained by... Princess, which is not what we have. Princess Elise, Princess Sleeping, which we have. Princess Ice, Princess Bella, Princess Jasmine, Dwarf, and Snowman. Honestly, no. Uh, purchase one product randomly. Each purchase increasing one level and gains extra coins equal to the item's price multiplied by the level. By level. 50% chance to reset level by one each when round end. So the idea is 
let's say because I have a bunch of because I have a bunch of these, right? We have a bunch of um, these ones, which says increase purchase quantity by one, right? We have those already. So the idea of this is that she purchases three or four things. The first thing is going to be the exact price it is valued at. The second thing is going to be bought at double price. The third thing is going to be bought at triple price, quadruple price, five times price, and it just goes up. And then at the end of the turn, she might reset the level. If she doesn't reset the level, then on the next turn, then the, buy, the thing you buy is going to be six times as valuable, seven times, eight times as valuable. So this is insane. But in the same vein, I want to go with the king because this guy purchasing a bunch of times randomly will start leveling him up and it's nice to have a king in the board why not have a random unit like that i mean the king is more i would say stable and the queen is more unstable but also more uh, high rolly and the king by the way just became level two so we just got two coins out of him these are all irrelevant to us. I don't care about... I mean, yeah, okay, I do have stones on the board, but he produces potions, which are also relevant to us. Let's roll him. Found a wizard for this, and we found our sleeping princess. I don't want that, though. Let's roll him again. And we found... Uh, produces an extra... This is produced production of candy. Doubles the price of three random swords on the shelf. Legalis. Legalis, because he's legal. <laughs> legal as. And once again, the same thing for pastry. Now we're going to skip here. We're going to continue. I think that we have a decent, powerful board enough to not have issues. And the king is with the guy, the two things. Look at the king now going on. Level four on the king already. So that's four coins every turn for the rest of the game. Very nice. Which isn't really that much money, but it's going to come in handy. Increase the production times four. I would say yes again on that. In general, increasing production, increasing consumption is good. So let's do that as we have that build. And look at this. Ah, no, actually, that's not that helpful. We got the monkeys on the wrong area, but we got the food guy here. Nice, 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 nice. You know, I'm starting to think I should just straight up remove the stone boy. I literally have one stone boy that's destroying my board. Knight, for everyone in the group from being... Uh, keep everyone from the room being removed, but removes himself. Yeah, that's uh, for the RPG build, because the dragon kills units. So that's the idea. Produce an extra ring. And then randomly remove one tomato man, orange man, flowers and the group and gain 10 coins and produce three candy yeah that's gonna kill the build let's skip and i would say i think i want to throw away i mean if i throw away the stone guy how many have you purchased i don't know how many of these have purchased and i also don't know how how many green stones that guy's produced but i can just throw him away and stop having to deal with the stones i think that's the play oh he just reduced the green stone well he literally just stayed in the game <laughs> By producing this green one. No, the king took it. No, the king took it. Okay, I think I'm not going to care about that anymore. Uh, give two extra coins for every purchase. We obviously go with this because we are the, mainly that build. And let's throw away the stone guy. And uh, most likely also throw away both of these two. But there is no real reason as to right now. You can also see what value everybody provided you with. Uh, yeah, let's, let's actually throw these out. Just because. Let's go. There is no real reason to keep them in the build anyway. I mean, the same vein, we should also throw away the wolf, but the wolf at least gives us one coin at the end of each turn. And now I have a more consistent build, and also I don't have the issues with the stones anymore. So the king is level 6, nice, we're getting 50 coins per turn. Uh, the dragon randomly produces 15 chests, emeralds, and diamonds when removed. Once again, for the dragon build. Uh, what is this? Animal keeper gives you extra 10 when removing animals, and dragon cannot be killed, but can obtain money. You know what? Roll him. Roll him. Silver bullet. Hero and demon hunter gain extra money. That's not for us. Farmer can also increase the production of, uh, I guess, tomato man mostly. That one's again not for us. Roll them. Mine. Produces one stone each round and produces an additional stone for every of these you have. Nope. Cats. Increase the production from two to three. What do they do? Increase the production of those guys. Oh, definitely. We want cats. For sure we want cats. I'm taking this and I hope I'm going to get a cat. Because I see there over there on the right side on the cat that it increases the production of the cooks. Production. That means the cook is gonna eat a bunch, get 22 coins or whatever, and then put out three pastas that all have a value of 33. Priest. I need a new cook, by the way. I'm still missing a cook. Demon King is here. I don't really want him. I don't want that either. Let's skip. Let's go on. We got double uh, husky in a bad spot, that is. Also, I have issues with fish production. I need to produce more fish. I just need more Snow Whites, honestly. They're producing everything. Okay, we found uh, Princess Ella, candy maker that she produces for oranges, produces for treats, and get five extra coins when purchase Shang in a group. There is also this build, which I don't know from what story it's coming from. If anybody knows, that would also be nice from where this Zoom Zong is and these pigs and whatnot. Definitely more of the Asian side of things, as far as I know. Look at this guy. He just is level nine on the king. The king is going to carry us, man. Ding, 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 ding. 57 to 40 coins. Yep, we're going to stay alive. 
robot bartender that generates destroyer robots. No, increase the production of Sammy and Servant. Sammy and Servant are the upgraded versions of the food production. We want Sammy for sure. Like, can purchase two times and produces uh, pastas with price equivalent to the total gained in this round and triples the money gained by uh, Frodo, I guess, is that other thing. I'm gonna get the housekeeper hoping that I'm gonna get Sammy. Increase the production of Sammy in group. This needs to super duper high roll though. Steal product randomly and increase level by one. Will be rewarded when caught. That's also a completely different build. So, you know what? Let's get the housekeeper. He still gives you one coin per turn. Might as well. And hopefully we're gonna find Sammy. And Frodo for that matter. Because that is part of the build, I guess. Let's go as they are eating, guys. Here we go. 12, 14. He's gonna put out a pass of 16. Boom. By the way, wait a minute. Was that production or consumption? Wait, wait, wait. If it's production, then that's insane. I, I, I bought a thing that's actually extremely useful. Uh, where is he? Production. Production is really strong. Production is really strong. Uh, we want the cat, by the way, because production uh, cats also do production. A guitarist, a ghost, a sun. Skip it. We're, stake, we're sticking to my food build. Boop, boop, boop. We're gonna obviously survive here. The chest is about to go. Come on, king. Eat the chest. Not the... King! The chest, man. King, you need to eat the chests. Unicorn, increase the chance of a rare character appearing. A level 4 character will appear next round. Wait, increase the chances of a rare character appearing. A level 4 character will appear next round. Remove itself after one round. Okay. 10% chance to summon an orc when purchasing. Saraman is here. <laughs> when Then he wants rings and swords. We're gonna get the unicorn, obviously. Let's see if I can get a legendary whatever this thing does. It's gonna obviously remove itself, as it said. Nice. Come on, king. Eat the... King, what are you doing? King! You're supposed to eat that thing. That's nice, very good production here. Let's see what we get as a choice. Okay, we obviously survived and got some removals and whatnot. Next turn is going to be 600. And it just so happened that the unicorn activated the turn. We get all legendaries anyway. Wrestling Master. Do you have an extra coin? Uh, do you have an extra coin per level? So this is a level character. Purchase all eggs. That's why you have triple eggs here. And increase level by one for every 20 eggs. This is a this is the chicken build. So if you want to do a chicken build, this is the guy. You get the wrestling master and you only have chickens and this guy. So that's an awesome build that I would like to do. Five times the money gained from king in a group. 20% chance to remove the king and oneself become the king. Uh, No. I'm not going to gamble the king away. Uh, and I definitely don't want this Tang Mong. This is the build, by the way. This is the Sun Wukong Zhuibi. I, I do not know how to exactly pronounce this. I don't know from where this is, historically speaking, but maybe somebody does. Roll him. Architect, purchase all stones. And every five stones purchased, uh, increase the price of all items on the shelf by two. Well, guess what? Should have kept the other guy, but it is what it is. Randomly remove three products from the shelf. If succeed, eight times the price of another product. Uh, most likely will be able to, but it's going to also kill the build in itself the moment he's going to do that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go with 10 coins per turn. That's it. 8 times multiplier. Maybe that's the play. Remove 3 products from the shelf. You know what? Let's just get 10 coins per round. I don't want to gamble. Although this 10 coins per round is almost uh, the king. The king is all at 10. King, please eat. Are you serious right now? King, there are 2 chests here and you haven't taken a single one. Unicorn again. I'm going to take the unicorn. Better than those two. Let's see what the unicorn's gonna give us. I'm still waiting for my high rolly uh, food related things. He King, are you serious? He ate all the eggs. And nice. The production. You know what? Let's actually see. I, I need to this time for once remember if this is a 12 coiner. Robot assistant is what we rolled with the unicorn. Everyone in the group increased production by one. That's good. If uh, production, production is always good. If this is purchased, increase one product pro, produce price on the shelf by eight. Okay, I'm gonna get this because for the first part. Everyone in the group increased production by one. Because production is better than consumption. So we take this for sure. This is the pirate build. There's also a pirate build. The, here, Captain Jack and Captain Octopus and whatnot. And here, by the way, Ring Spirit and Guru, which is the golem, right? He wants rings. Has 10% chance to summon a, a Ring Spirit. And then the Ring Spirit says, on death, it will become the one ring, right? So uh, there is a complete build here. I love this thing. Uh, let's let's go here, though. Let's go to stick to what we have. Produce more food. Okay, the king is with the cactus. He's going to eat two things. Nice! He ate both chests. Let's go. So we got rid of the chest now. I once again did not check if the pasta that was multiplied with the dog actually worked. 
Egyptian sacrifice. This is new. This is a new build they added in this patch. I've never seen this. When anyone is removed, double the price of one product on the shelf and 50% chance to summon a soul. So there's a soul. And the souls say that after 10 rounds, they remove themselves and six times the price. So I guess it's a remove and multiply price build, right? Because she says that doubles the price. This guy says six times the price. And she is summoning things. So I, uh, yeah, that, that, that's a build. Increased production of these guys. I don't think so. Let's roll them and see what we get. You should always use the rerolls as long as there is something. Uh, or, or get something a reroll. White dragon horse. No, no. And roll them. A unicorn here. We're going to buy that better than the rest. Might as well get a random rare good thing. Who knows? We're at 19 units right now. Uh, I think the only units that need to go is maybe the wolf that does nothing. And most likely the pinky bit toy bear at some point too. And now we have actually a clean line. I really enjoy this. The king is at 13 coins. So we're really good with that. I think we're going to survive this easily. Element stone. You always want to get this. God. 50% chance to increase the level of a character in the group by one. So this is literally only for the king. The idea is you get this thing. And 50% chance to increase the level of the specifically the um, king. But the thing is that I wouldn't say I want this because just one level on the king once per round and it needs to be in the same group. So we need to high roll. We're going to get this, get three rare rerolls and remove himself. That's in my opinion, really, really, really good. Uh, do I have my, you know what? I think I have my social media open. Let me actually close that. Yeah, I think there is a good chance you just hear my social media ding. That's mine. Anyway, who produced these chests? Oh, the this guy. I also need to get rid of the fisherman. So, and we just got my rarity roll, so I can use them right now. After use, the production of the following items will be increased by one for three rounds. Yeah, no, I don't care about that. Uh, gold miner, gem miner, increase the chance of getting mine, gems, not really. For each kind of fallen character is present, give three coins. And this is the mage build, wizard, uh, wizard administrator, which really looks like McGonagall. And then we got like wizard headmaster here, which you know who it is. And then the boy student and the girl student and the wizard teacher, which obviously is Snape. So uh, yeah, you know, there is a Lord of the Rings again. <laughs> no, there is a Harry Potter build too. Draw three characters after use. Okay, I think this is the play. So he is draw three character after the use, maybe between these. And I want the chef, man. I want the chef. Let's take this for each kind of fallen characters. Give money. Yeah, that's the music build. Let's go here. And it, this just activates the moment I get it. So I don't want any of these. Let's give it. And I want the chef. Here we go. Cook. And I don't want any of these. Let's give it. So I just got a chef pretty much. I forced a chef. I don't want any of these. Skip it. Let's go on. In general, I want to get rid of the fisherman. I don't want to get these stupid chests on the board because they push things away even more. But it's okay. We got the combo with poet plus king again. So that's lucky. Come on, king. Let's go. Ah, uh, king failed. Okay, I need to remember. Now I'm producing two foods per time. I want to see how much those two foods are worth. I don't care about any of these. Let's roll them. Let's, let's actually try to check. Come on. I want to see how much this was worth. Uh, oh, what did she take? I need to see where this goes. 12 coins. And this one? Why is she eating? I saw her specifically eat eggs. I saw that. I saw she took an egg. Why? She's not supposed to eat eggs. Something is bugged. I don't know. Robot bartender that generates food but might become a robot. No, knight. Protects. No, skip. Skip. Putting on the level of the king and he also has a lot of things here. Nice. Is Are these all worth 12 or are they worth different values? That's what I mean. 18? 34? Okay, so are random values, I guess. Uh, not the random values. I guess although they stack up to each other, these pastas, although they do stack up to each other, the real price that they are are different within the stack, right? The first pasta might fly off for 10 and the second might fly off for 20. So that's good. It's good to know that it's differentiated. Unique Shang Vung doubles the price of three randomly. Yeah, that's for a book build, I guess. No, no, and no. Let's skip pepperoni, pepperoni. Let's go on. I know exactly what I want. I want to find a ninja. If I find a ninja, then that's the best in slot. If I find a ninja, the build is pretty much a go. And if I find two ninjas, then the build is even more of a go. Ninjas are very, very, very fitting with what I'm generating here. As you see, now we start generating crazy. My Look at this guy. Look at this guy. The high roll. 40 coiner. 40 coiner. Boom. There is a 40 coiner food in there. So also I need chickens, by the way. Increase the price of five random resources on the shelf by two. 
So this obviously com foodie. This obviously combos with the fact that uh, he might increase the price of a chicken egg, and then the chicken egg might get purchased from the chef, and then the chef is gonna produce a higher pasta price. This is a three star. Five random resources by two. I think this really, really, really fits. So I'm gonna get that and go on. As I always have a dice, a decent amount of things. You see, there are synergies within synergies. It's not only about buying and purchasing. It's also about increasing the product. You see those now increase in price. 42 coins here from the food pasta purchase. Very nice. We survived. A 900 for the next turn. We're already almost there. And now we high roll queen. Once again, the random purchase. Thing. I'm gonna buy the queen, yeah. Gangsta boss. 3% chance to convert one of all of these into a group of these. You see, this is how you trans transition the build. 30% chance to convert one of fishermen, which I have. Uh, you know, and the cooks and whatnot. Into uh, thugs. And no thing. Yeah, you know what? We're not going with that. Destroyer T800. Random. Three random. Um, I don't know what this is. And guns on the shelf. Price times four. So you go into the Terminator build. We're gonna go queen. Queen also getting random resources is nice. And with the multiplier idea. And because we have a lot of purchase strength, she might start buying things for insane amounts. So, uh, yeah, she already has a double purchase here. So let's see how that works. Yes. Boom. Boom. 12, 18, 22, 28, 20. She just got 20 coins from a chest. Is she gonna reset? She resets. She's down, down to one again. So it's 50 50 to lose her level. If she doesn't lose her level two or three times back to back, it's gonna break the game. <laughs> Uh, what are the choices here? Candy maker and whatnot. No, let's roll them. Bartender and whatnot. Let's roll them. And cook. We got our cook. I'm gonna buy our cook so we have more cooking power. And I think now that I have 22 here, I would say let's throw out, uh, first of all, the wolf. That doesn't do anything. It says that it did 58 coins, but that's because he is giving us one coin per turn and we have him from the get-go. So he's gone. Oh, that's why I lost my spirit because this guy says remove all spirits. Now I realize what happened at the beginning. Yeah, we're gonna send this guy off. Uh, I have six throwaways. I'm gonna also throw away... I want to have exactly 20 units, always. I want to also throw away... I would say... Not these. I would say this. It says 110, but that's because... It works how it works. You know, just 10 coins per turn. There are things that say that they give us less money, but it's not actually real because... Oh, the king didn't even trigger. Because in reality... Uh, obviously, we just had more units. Uh, no, no, no. They generate things, but they don't give you money. Like, uh, it might give you a fish, but then the fish is gonna give money. Servant is here, although that's useless for us. Everyone in group purchase in quantity by three, we're gonna definitely buy this one. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the servant, honestly. Let's buy this, and I would say let's remove one of the cacti, as that's a downside. Any, yeah, that's production. We want that. Woody stays. These stay. Queen stays. These definitely stay. Production stays. I guess tomato man is to go and fisherman is to go. Dog definitely stay. Let's, let's send actually one of these. Let's send one of these off. We already have the times three. I'm gonna send a lot more off the moment I find a ninja. I find an, if I find a ninja, we send off two more units and then we become mad lad city madness. You're gonna see. I think I need more monkeys and more uh, snow whites. We need more production. And if I get another snow white, we're gonna send off the fisherman. Uh, let's see what we find. Increased production of the robots. Orange men, no. Let's skip. Let's go on. We have exactly 20 units. Let's actually speed the game up as from here on out. We're just gonna be chilling anyway. Din, 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 din. Send things in. Da, 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 da. Point, 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 point. So 799 coins. Unique chunk, no. Uh, robot, no. Produce, uh, what is this called? Candy, no. Put them on the board. Buy things. Send them in. And that's the game. We just literally got the perfect roll here. I mean, not the perfect roll. We got the build ready. The, definitely not the perfect roll. We could have high rolled a lot more. Randomly produce uh, one of these two. Nope. I don't want to randomly produce oranges for no reason. What is this? Captain Octopus. Actually, do I get rid of the whole board? I almost get rid of the whole board. If you get rid of the whole board, then you can actually, you know, buy farms and whatnot. As there is no downside to getting free production on the board. And I think I want to go produce two of these each round. Two of each. Two of each. So, yeah, that's actually really good. Because that's literally two free tomatoes. And the two free uh, oranges are going to get rid of either the king or the queen. So, I think this is the play. Yeah, that's the play. Let's go here. And Arlon is here. Aragon, obviously. Let's go unicorn. So, we maybe get a ninja or something. Yep. Purchasing things. And I'm going to start... I, I want to see when this triggers. It triggers at the end. Okay, good to know. I found another king. I was not aware that's even a thing. Yeah, I didn't know you can get more kings. I thought you can only have one. I don't think there is any reason to actually get a king. I don't find a reason to do that. So we're going to just skip here. Because I, I mainly want the ninja man. Let's skip. 
If I find the ninja, then so be it. But otherwise, I don't need to add anything else. Uh, and I want to get rid of... And I also want to find more Snow Whites. Because Snow Whites are straight up an upgrade over the Fisherman and over the Tomato Man. I mean, definitely over the Tomato Man. Which, up here we go, Destroyer Killer. Guess who this is? Remove one, destroy your robot and soul in a group and gain 3D coins. You see, that's how you do it. And then you have robots and robots that generate robots. And then you have Destroyer Killer to destroy the robots. It's like, it's it's an, a completely other build. And that has to mainly do with your board and not with the middle. Which I really enjoy as an idea. Ooh, he's creating the mega recipe. 52 coiner recipe incoming. Da -da 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 Boom, there is a 52. Whoa, we threw in five food there. If if one of those is gonna get got by the queen, we are godlike. 10% chance to killing the dragon and gaining 200% times the money. Barbarian. The RPG build, as I said. Did you stand? Nope, no, and no. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm waiting for this to fly off. This one. Come on. Where are they purchasing? Where's the purchasing on this? I didn't see any big purchase. How much? 151 coins is what we made. Okay, we got a reroll uh, rare ones. I'm gonna take that. Always take the reroll rare ones. It, it is here. It's gonna remove itself. Nice, 68 coins. Hundred, previous turn was 150 something. Da -da 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 -da. Nice. At this point, we have a complete control over the game. I think it's over Destroyer T800. Dragon. Get one level. Gain money per level. Turn percent chance to increase level by one when purchasing. When purchased, and he's buying chests, this and this, so rare stuff, and then has a chance to remove these guys and increase the level by one. So the idea of the dragon is you level him up by feeding him a lot and by getting a bunch of kills, and then at some point you get this uh, this guy 10% chance to killing the dragon, 10% chance to killing the dragon 200 times the level. It doesn't say 200%, it says 200 times. So if the dragon is level 10, this is 2,000 coins, like, boom. So this is like a, you just check out build. Because this game, in the beginning, if you remember when I was looking at the difficulty, it said you need to gain 10,000 coins or something. Uh, yeah, this game, when you hit that number, it actually tells you you got the number you needed, so you won. So the dragon is like a one and done type of build. You kill him once, you get 5,000 coins, and you win on the spot. So that's an awesome idea in general. Uh, we're gonna skip these. I'm gonna try to find my food-related stuff. Does this fit eight times the product price thing? Mm, I mean, this does fit. I'm gonna try this, and if I see that it doesn't fit, I'm gonna throw it out. Actually, let's go times one speed. I want to see this in action. I'm pushing things out. That's not good. Yeah, he just removes three things and just doesn't times eight. Yeah, that's it. So he does fit. I want this at times two, I would say. And I'm already pushing things out. I need to have more purchase strength. Orange man, no, no, and no. Roll them. Unicorns are yes. And I wouldn't even say let's remove... Uh, I guess the fisherman. I don't really enjoy the chests. It's gonna, I'm at 21. Yeah, the, 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 the unicorn's gonna go away anyway, so. Nice. Sometimes this does not work out exactly how we want to. Gangsta. Boss. Gangsta street. Gangsta. And basis. Now we're gonna roll these. And none of these. Fan. Fan also eats pastry. Good to know. So, we are waiting for Ninja and Frodo. Although it's not cool. Yeah, Ninja and Frodo. That's what we were... And Gimli, by the way. Prince is sleeping, not really. Produce random products, also not really. Vampire, also not really. Skip him. Uh, I should throw away from the deck, uh, from the board, this guy that says production of Gimli is increased because we don't have one. Uh, Lucky Cat. This is godlike in general. Gain extra 10 coins for everyone when they purchase. Remove itself after round. This is everyone on the board. So now you're gonna see like a cling, 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 cling. You're gonna see how this goes. You're gonna get... Yeah, now money, 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 money. The... the Look at this. This was a very, very bad one, by the way. 221 coins. She gained, like, something like 150 coins on her own. How many coins has she brought on us? I think the queen has given us the most money. 312 on you. 608, the queen. Where's the king? 624, this cook specifically. 643. It's a, it's a race between queen, queen and king. Consistency against RNG. Coins gained by removing anyone will give you double. Okay, that's for, uh, obviously, the other build. This is for the school build. No, roll them. After use, the production the production of these things is going to increase for three rounds. No, randomly duplicate the product on the shelf. You know what? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Get free stuff. Yellow elemental. Increase everyone's production and purchase quantity by one. And remove itself. Everyone. So that's... You take these everyone things. Because it just works right away. Okay. This, this happened. And now he's going to remove himself. 
and we got 100, 100 coins, not that much. Chemist, no. Sacrifice, no. No. Skip him. Let's go. I have not found a cat. I have not found a ninja. And I have not found Frodo or a Sammy. But the build is going on. Look at this. What, what was this high roll build? I didn't even see how we got 400 coins. We got 400 coins this round. Can I see what I... I, I cannot see. 400 coins a lot. Reduce extra coin. Extra bar attending after 20 rounds. Nope. That's for a boost build. I'm in. Wolf Wolf. Yep, money increase. Throw things in. 3D coins from that. 108. My queen is level 1 again. Reset. Yeah, I think the queen is doing the most. Double the price of 3 random chests on the shelf. Because there is a chest build too. Pirate. I mean, it's a pirate build. Let's go. Continue on. Come on, queen. Level 5 on the queen. Do not reset. If the queen does not reset, we got a god roll going on next round. 400 coins is what we got. Did you reset again? Come on, man. 50% chance. Uh, no, no, no. Roll them. I want ninjas. Let's go. Not that I can control it because I don't have any more rerolls. Queen, go, go. No! We, and there was nothing on the shelf for the queen to eat. 459 coins we got this turn, though. Understood. Alien monster. I can transition into an alien build if I want to. When purchased, convert one of these guys. When purchased, it means this thing. So, yeah, I cannot transition to that build then. So, this says when it purchases one of these canisters, then it transforms one of them... One of pretty much most of the units in the game into a uh, alien monster larvae. And this thing after five turns becomes an alien monster. And the alien monster says that it gains 10 extra coins for each alien monster in the group. So the idea is you just make your whole build be alien monsters. And then they just, then you literally do nothing. You only have alien monsters into alien monsters. Five times the money gained by king in a group, but chance to kill the king. I still don't want this, man. I'm going to roll these away. This might be good. G give extra four coins for every other in group making a purchase. Yeah, we go here. We are a purchase build. And I would say we throw out... Um, I mean, this is... The angel is a straight up upgrade of the dog. Production is an issue we have. Oh, you know what? We're going to throw away the, the guy that says about Gimli. Yeah, here you go. It, it literally does nothing. 19 level on the king. Leave things on the board, please, please. Ah, the queen only bought one thing. 54 coins on this guy. He's about to throw in a mad lad crazy pasta. Reset again on the queen. Double the price, etc. No, roll him. Cactus again. No, 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 no. Remove a random one. Get 15 coins for him. Ah, this kind of super duper high roll, by the way. If you happen to hit with the Reaper, the queen, and the queen gave us 300 coins, then you instantly win the game. Uh, increase the price of five random products by two. I'm going to go into that. And let's throw away... Do I want to throw away one of the pastry chefs? I feel like we're eating too much. It really feels like we're producing too much. Let's try to throw away one of the pastry chefs and see how this goes. Because I feel like, yeah, we have a consumption issue and not a production issue. No, no, we have a production issue. We are consuming too much. We have a production issue. So we want to remove how much we consume. Bartender, no, no, and no. Let's roll them. And found that everybody buys and everybody sells. So might as well do that. There is literally no downside to doing that. Yep, on and forth, back and forth, production, and we got 200 coins in this one. Now our cactus is here, we're gonna roll them, skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. I'm gonna speed up even more. I'm speeding up based on how uh, much we have already won, and this is a very, very much we have already won. Increase the production of these boys again. No, no, and no. Let's go on. King is at 20. Queen is over here. I don't think she's in a good spot. Ooh, 34 coins. Do not reset. Come on, man. Do not reset. Once. She has the do not reset part, right? 50% chance to reset. Yeah. King gives twice the level each round. And decrease the chance of leveling up by 5. Obviously, we go here. Didn't even think about it. Uh, princess tipping and whatnot. No, let's skip her only. That was actually a really good one. Go, go, go. There are products. There are no products. Level 2. She did not reset, but that was when she's level 2. Skip. I want to see the queen be level 10, man. If the queen can go get to level 10. Or they're not products. And she's still level 3. Nice. Servant is here. I want Gimli, not Servant. And we got the bomb. Let's let's tank the run. Click. <laughs> I mean, that could give the win instantly. The queen's at level 4. Stick to level 4, please. Yes, she's still at level 4. Okay, maybe now is the big play. How many did I get? 289. If now the queen happens to high roll into being in the same wave with uh, the purchase power... Nah, she wasn't. It's a... Ah, she's most likely gonna... Still not reset. At five. Wizard teachers. We got Snape. 
gun robot. No arms dealers. No. It's actually not speed through this too fast. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Production and... Ah. She's level 9. Do not reset. No. She didn't get good stuff. Understood. Anubis. Give extra two times money. Increase level by one when any must is removed. Yeah, that's a remove build. So Anubis with souls and with... Uh, yeah, that's a remove build. I, I really would like to do that. Sea monster gives you more money based on certain pirates and the aliens roll those. Uh, four times money, no. Sherlock's here, no. Boss, no. There's a chance to summon a snowman. Queen again? Do I want to roll into a queen again? I don't think I want to roll into a queen again. I mean, it's very, very high rolly, so queen actually fits. We need to produce more still, though. And we have foodies. Maybe the angel goes, maybe the dog goes. Maybe the cactus goes. Honestly, no. Let's just skip. Let's just skip in general. I don't want to waste my rerolls there. I want to use my rerolls on... Uh, what are they called? I want to use my rerolls on... My mind is blank right now. On items. On items. On items. Roll them. Radiation worker. Produce one for each potion. So yeah, there is a line where you produce stones into potions. And then this guy makes potions into radiation. And then you have something to eat the radiation. We found stones. Not really. Not really. Roll them. Elemental stone for sure. We want three more rerolls. Why not? Here it is. Get the money. Go. I'm, I'm gonna speed up again. Because we guarantee our one in here. Soul, no. Let's roll them. And one our cactus, but no. I just want a ninja. 22 levels on the king, by the way. Who's gonna become even more insane. Cat. We found the cat. Increase the production of uh, pastry chefs, mainly. Yeah, I want this. I want this guaranteed. And because this is increase the money gained. Uh, should I throw away one of the dogs? I think I want to throw away one of the dogs. It's a gamble. Let's go. We have a lot of purchase power, and we need production power. Uh, the dogs make it so you gain more money. Sammy is here. Let's go. The good cook can purchase two times. Produces money with the price equivalent to the total of money gained, and triples the money gained by Fratto. Fratto we don't have. Fratto is just a guy that eats, by the way. But eats for a lot. Let's get Sammy for sure. And let's sell out a cook. Because Sammy is a super cook, pretty much. Um, as he purchases two times on by default. And obviously even more if he has things around. Nice. So, nah, perfect. Per pasta produced by either cook or Sammy. At least four coins. And produces one pasta on its own for free. Yeah, yeah. L literally best in slot. Literally best in slot item. Because that is the build. Did just get 450 coins? Did this guy just triple something in... This guy octapult? Yeah, this guy octapult something insane. And then she purchased it for like 400 coins. These are irrelevant to us. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, this guy octapulting thing is insane. Okay. Uh, none of these. Skipperoni, pepperoni. It's gone. Now we have a very clean board here. Queen's at level 3. Nice. Maybe she's gonna go to level 10. Uh, none of these, honestly. Let's skip her only. Come on, queen. She's she's in a good spot. No, she was not. And <laughs> she even reset. Another cat. Increase production. I'm going to say yes on the production. And I'm going to throw away the dog again. I'm going deeper into production and less into consumption. I mean, the dog just made it be more worthwhile. The cat is straight up more. Produce more. We want again. Understood. On the god. Double the money gained from any every other in-group making a purchase. Double the money gained. Double the money gained is better than plus four. This is plus four. This is double. I mean, obviously double is better. Let's go double. I would like to throw away the... This is production. This is eating. This is production. I guess I want to throw away the tomato man. Honestly. Or even... Or, or this. Let's send the cactus. Let's send the cactus. Let's send the purchase power. I mean, I still have the plus two on the purchase power anyway. Ooh. Shing, 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 shing. Sound effects here. Uh, none of these roll them. None of these roll them. Where's the ninja, man? Where is my ninja now? My ninja. Where's my ninja? Where's my ninja? <laughs> Ninja's gonna break the game. That's why I want ninja. And just to be clear. Oh, 992. Did you see that? Good thing I went with a double. Do not reset. Uh, now the game tells me if I want to actually end the game. Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't. I'm at eight, eight, I'm at date 82, so we just have to go through two more of these. So let's continue here. There is no reason to end the game. Another Snow White has appeared, which is production. 
So I will bet the bridge. Uh, I will buy that and sell the tomato man. As as she straight up an upgrade, as she produces all three of the resources and also eats. It's a straight up an upgrade from the tomato man. So the ninja, what the ninja does, and why I'm saying that the ninja is important. The ninja is the one that combines the um, combines the boards. And if I can combine the boards, it's gonna break the game. And Sammy is here. Do I have another cook? I have another cook. We buy Sammy. We sell the other cook. 993. You you did your job, but I just got the super cook. Obviously, we got the super cook. Da, 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 da. Now we have two Sammys, Sammyos. Now I just need to find the Frodo, Fratho. None of these. We can't find anything. Let's go. There was a priest there that has to do with the dragon build. Nice. 400 something coins. The madness is coming in. Midas touch. Randomly purchase one item on the shelf and gain double the money it would give you. Every empty chair. No. Draw three characters after these guys. Uh, no. I'm going to reload here. We can find better stuff. The rings give more price and produce one ring each round. This, by the way, breaks the Lord of the Rings build. Gain five rerolls. I guess five rerolls. I want to find the ninja anyway. Uh, none of these. Thief, nope. Produces one random valuable good. Valuable good is diamonds and whatnot, so the idea is you build that up. Yeah, if I have got if I had gotten the thing that says produce a random ring each turn and then got the guru, we are we could instantly transition over to that build. Roll him. I mean transition definitely not, but whatever. Roll him. Mimic, remove one of these and this, increase level by one. The price of produce increased by the number of uh, levels. So this is go for a chest build. This is a chest build here. Roll him. Unicorn poet. I mean poet, obviously. Purchase power is extremely important for the build we have because specifically we have queens. Look at the queen, 3,000 coins. Where's the king? It's uh, the, the king is left behind, man. Uh, purchase power. I, I don't want to sell the scientist. The scientist is what allowed us to do this YOLO and move. I guess the foodie. What did I just get? I guess the purchase power is what I got. This definitely doesn't go. I guess the plus four flat is what goes. Yeah, let's go send the flat four. I need production consumption, that's it. I mean, I think consumption is too much already. Yeah, I'm over consuming. What am I? Ninja is here. We take this. Yeah. All groups with ninjas are considered to be one group. Summon a ninja at the beginning of each round and it removes itself after one round. If it appears. So we get the Japanese ninja. Now I definitely throw away um, these because this is just going to be the whole board's going to be consuming everything. And uh, I also would like to throw away, I would say, one of the foodies. Because now we're super duper into this build. So, I need to have 19 because the ninja is going to give us the number 20. Just to be clear. This is now going to produce ninja. Boom. And now, and now from here on out, I will have combined two, two turns. I need another ninja, by the way, for the godlike roll. So, now I have two teams. These two are the same. Right? So, they, they get all the passives. They are spreading the passives around. So, what that means... The ninja, by the way, joins and leaves. That's what's going to happen every single turn. I just want to explain how the ninja works. So this guy was here too. So these two were the same. So that means that this guy, the angel, double the money gained from everyone in the group and purchase. It counts for all, both of these teams. Like it counts for the Snow Whites and it counts for the team it's already in. And the monkeys, that's say increase the production of these units. If there were Snow Whites over here, they would also work for that, right? Uh, so the idea is we want to have those things that say everyone in the group uh, purchase three or everyone in the group plus four production. You know, all of these, we want them to be in ninja boards inside ninja areas like here and here for example you see these two boards are the same that's why they light up when they trigger right the, the teams that are the same team light up when they trigger uh skip and if you have two ninjas then you pretty much have four ninjas right because one produces one so if you have two then two produce two and therefore you can high roll into having all four of them be combined into one big board pink toy ai no uh, no roll em. scientist again, no roll em. At Barobo's assistance for production, and we found Frato. Frato is here, who just eats, but not only does he eat, but Frodo says triple, and I have two of these. So is that triple and triple into triple? If it is, then obviously we go here, Frato. Production is obviously really, really good in point, but we're gonna go Frato. And I'm gonna leave it at 21, because we can high roll into the following thing. We can high roll into the fake ninja, because there is a normal ninja and a fake ninja, right? We can This is the ninja clone. We can high roll into the ninja clone not actually appearing on the board. That's one out of 20. Uh, one out of 21 to not be on the board. And then when that happens, then I will have a triple ninja on the next turn after that. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. And also, the Frato idea is very important because the ninja is going to combine the boards. So we might... Oh, another ninja is here. Nice. So now I need to completely switch this up a bit. Uh, I would say... Because now everything is going to be on the same board. 
Um, I would say you definitely stay. This increased production of food generation. So... Oof, this is hard to do. One of these goes. We don't need that many. And I would say one of you go. Production by two is okay. Yeah. This is production by one, but everybody. Doesn't matter what you are. So right now we're at 20 units. This is plus four, but plus four is important. Mm, I'm even thinking about sending off Sammy, but we have two Sammys. That actually stays there for. Rat definitely stays. Foodie can go. Uh, let's... Oh, I don't have a removal. Well, now we high roll. Three ninjas on the same board. That's extremely unlucky. <laughs> extremely unlucky triple ninja on the same board. But now we're going to have so many ninjas on the board. Sammy is here again. Do I have the super cook? Well, irrelevant. I'm not going to buy Sammy because we have issues anyway, room-wise. I'm just going to look into more ninjas. Pharaoh, 3% chance to summon a soul. Okay, so that's the build. You go Pharaoh that summons souls. You have the other one that says that it kills the souls and has a chance to summon souls. And then you have the other guy that says that when you kill stuff, you get a bunch of money. Removal. This is rerolls. I'm going to buy rerolls. Three ninjas. Yes. You're going to see a 2,000 roll in a moment. You're going to see it's happening. Roll him. Another Pharaoh. Roll him. Ball man. <laughs> Lose the game. Cat. No, no, no. We don't need anything. We, I just want more ninjas. Yeah, no, this is it. This is the turn. Look at this. Four ninjas. All of them combined everything. Everybody has all the passives. Everybody's producing and consuming like crazy. That was not in 2,000 to roll, though. 5,600. No, 500. No, no not... That is also a decent roll. Three of them are in the same area. I want to get rid of more of these. Uh, although production is a thing. Can also reduce no. Probability no. For each king. For each kind of the fallen characters present. Uh, I do have poets. I do have queens. And I do have kings. So this is nine coins per turn. Might as well, whatever. What happened? I listened to sound effect. Da -da 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 Look at this. The because the angel is here, all of these are getting the angel effect going on. Nice. I really have issues with production and consumption. That is, that has been a thing from the get-go, and it still is. Everybody is connected in the same thing area. Look at how much production we had here. And if I now get another everybody's in the same area, then uh, then we become super rich because the board is filled. Come on. Perfect. The perfect roll. No, eat, 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 eat. Go, 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 go. Nice. Ah, the queen did not give us as much as I would have hoped. Increase the production of Sammy and Servant. Well, I also have increased the production of... Oh, we don't have cooks. This is useless. This is a completely useless item thing. And I can't get rid of it. Yeah, the cat's completely naturally useless. This is not, though. Increase the production of um, Sammy is good because... Yeah, we need to produce more food and we have a lot of consumption anyway. So let's go with increase the production by two. And I want to get rid of the cat, obviously. Do not push these out. Nice. 560 something. 860 something. If the queen, queen level 11. Yes, queen level 11. Let's go. Come on, let's high roll again. Queen level 11. That's the, that's the big money. Ah, she's not with a ninja or anything. Ah, unlucky. Times 12. No, she lost the level. No. We won the game though. And here are the stats that you can see. Total 1,717k. So we could have beaten the final difficulty I had. Although most of the time in the harder difficulties, you could die in the beginning, not in the end. In the end, most of these things works out. Uh, so that's the money we got. That's the run we got. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, I mean, yep, yeah, this was 15,000. I could have beaten that too. I guess I could have beaten the rest ones too. And then there is also a campaign, by the way, which the only thing it does, it's not like a campaign campaign. It's not like it has a vent. It just gives you... Uh, after F50 runs, as it says, it starts giving you units that are bad. Like, the, it's units that say, you get one less coin for each purchase. And if you want to remove it from your deck, you have to use three removals. Or um, you... Yeah, stuff like that. Oh, I closed the game by mistake. Whoopsie. Well, <laughs> a real whoopsie. Give me a second to open it up again. <laughs> Yeah, it is what it is. The X there is very, just click it and the game is gone. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> that was very awkward. The game is going to open up again here. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed the game in general. As I said, I have already been playing this on my own for five to six hours. So, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed and I see this video gets traction, I'm going to make a series out of it. There is at There are at least ten different builds, at least ten different builds that I want to showcase. Where, you know, Lord of the Rings, RPG, um, what else is there? Jasmine, the, the road to the east thing, um, the... 
the party people and uh, the robots, the Terminator thing. There are so, so, so many builds here. So many builds here. I want to test them out. If you want to see them, comment down below. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, give a traction to this video. So, you know, it, it takes traction and then, you know, people see it. And then I'm like, okay, let's play more. Otherwise, I guess that's going to be the one time I'm playing this. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.